It's been brilliant to see the work that Plymouth University is doing on the issue of marine plastics. It's, it's cutting edge stuff, it's really important stuff. And what really uh, impresses me is that the focus is on what practically needs to change. What can we do as consumers? What can industry do? Uh, I'm always very keen to find out what government can do to help things along as well. It's been a really important visit for me today. It's always good to come back to Plymouth and see the brilliant work that you're all doing here on marine science. So the way that this experiment works is we're washing uh, different garments, so polyester, polyester cotton blend and acrylic. We put them in the washing machine and then run them under a normal cycle. It then goes into the glass tanks behind me, so all of the wastewater gets pushed into there and then pushed through a filter system where we can capture all of the fibres. Then we're testing different inventions that would go in the washing machine to try and capture the fibres before it gets to that point. If it's being caught by my filter, that's the fibres that would go down into the sewage treatment works and potentially into our oceans. I think that the research from this experiment will show us that plastic is coming from loads of different ways that we wouldn't always consider. When I think of plastic, I think of a hard material like a drink bottle, not some soft jumper that could be releasing fibres. So the most important thing for me is spreading awareness of where plastic can come from. The other thing I like about the work that I've seen today is that it's focused on solutions. Here are the questions we need to take to industry about the plastics they're producing and ask them to come up with answers based on the excellent science that's happening here at Plymouth.